<laughs> oh Christ, okay, so we're doing this freaking game now, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we did Wrath of Cortex and uh, Year of the Dragon like three or so years ago at this point, and we talked before about how, um, remember how Wrath of Cortex, while it had problems, um, it was still a decent enough game? Um, yeah, Spyro didn't get <laughs> quite the same treatment. <laughs> this is quite a lot worse than that. Um, as you'll see here, I do want to show this off because it's just funny, but... Um, <laughs> the demo is literally just a guy in a, like a speedway flying the wrong way, and then it just ends. So Good that- start. So that- Something about that- Something about that feels wrong. So that- That could, uh, should show you, like, the type of quality we're dealing with, and that file is just me just testing, uh, the game earlier, but, yeah. This file, this is like a downgrade. Um... Uh, do funny hunter face, do funny hunter face. <laughs> I mean, do we- is there anything else? I'm not, I'm not <laughs> I mean, pretty good. Uh, I like this guy. <laughs> hey, well, it's your file. At least the UI sounds like the other games. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of hard to mess up. You'd be surprised. Right, well, I mean, if you have, um, something already established, then just go with You'd that. be surprised. Yeah. Well, still. <laughs> it's just a float, you scaredy cat. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, don't, day, don't get used to the Spyro free callbacks, by the way, because these, uh, floats are, like, the only... A reference to them. Uh, I think I saw a lot of good though. And Bartholomew shows up. Bartholomew shows up, but like these characters don't. So, we meet again. And then this. <laughs> hey, Mr. Banana Mouth. And he's still alive. Why do the baby dragonflies look so much larger than Sparks? Magic. Yeah. <laughs> and they could talk for some reason. One of them took speech lessons, actually, in the second game. Yeah. Another reference right here. I think that line is meant to be a parody of a movie quote, but I'm not- I don't remember what it is. Is this Ripto's original voice? Yeah. Everyone got- kept their last VA. Yeah. You and Bianca? Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're all the same voices, so. Uh, cause I thought Bianca sounded different. Oh, yeah. down a different voice direction. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be surprised looping how... Animation is, looping animation is looping animation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised how different actors can sound by just having different direction. Because, um... You know, uh... Rayman in, uh... 2 and 3 are actually the same voice. Uh, at least the versions of Rayman 2 that have English voice acting. But the direction in free is like completely different. I forgot the, the um exotic chanting in this game. But And we already found sparks. I thought I lost you, pal. Hey, oh, you found hey, sparks. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hey in the sparks. Back. I'm just gonna assume he's stronger than most of the dragonfly, so he's fine. I guess. Or just got lucky. <laughs> Whoa! What'd you do that for? Giraffe, that didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. 
the good news is I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different dress abilities. The bad news is you're going to have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realm. Cool. Video game. Come on, Sparks. Let's get going. We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? Yay. So I, Janky as these models are, I kind of do like the squash and stretch. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the models don't look too great, I'll be honest, but I mean, the, they tried. <laughs> They're definitely more cartoony. Like yeah. What'd you say, Jason? Cartoon, cartoony. I, I Loading! Prefer, yes, load screen. I kind of prefer, hmm? prefer this game's color palette over Wrath of Cortex's. I can kind of understand that. Take this dragon room to the dragon also, I hope you like Bianca because uh, she's gonna vanish. It's literally the last time you'll see her. Yeah. Last time we see her in any console Spyro game outside of remakes. Mm. Yeah. So. Uh, bye. Tap your elbow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you oh, you tap your elbow. <laughs> tap your elbow. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the main gimmick of this game. See if you can do the funny, see if you can do that glitch. Yeah. Because, like, if, if Harry knows what he's doing, I think we can end the game right now. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna do that, but... Uh, one thing I will say that is, uh, like, don't get me- get- don't get used to me praising the game, but... One thing I do like, uh, is that... You retain all your abilities from Spyro 2 and 3, which is- which is nice. Yeah. You can cast the Eggerfly and lose. If you get close enough to them, your bubble will put you inside a bubble and send them back home thanks to Bianca's magic spell. Hey, it's Jones! <laughs> Hi, Sparks. <laughs> I have my Sparks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, you have to explain everything. Good lord. Every time the bad guys come, they end up trying to steal a dragon turtle. They always take more than they can carry and drop it all over the place. Pick it up so we can return to the dragon elders once we're finished. I can even help. Thank you, Jason, but could you uh, tell us in dragonfly language? No. Remember, Sparks can talk in uh, so Hero's Tale. No! Find these butterflies, Sparks. Uh, in the void. Yeah. You remember, it's I'm. Okay, the. Man! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care! I, I, I understand tutorials are, uh, uh, like important but there's a way to do a, do that without like interrupting the game so much come on oh my god but yeah um as i was saying earlier um the uh, breaths are the main gimmick of this game um uh you'll still mainly be using the fire breath for most of the game but um bubble breath is primarily for the catch the dragonflies i don't mind the idea of having the dragonflies like, uh, like run away from you, but the problem is the fact that the hitbox just doesn't work, <laughs> and it's it just becomes a nightmare more than anything. Is it lagging or is it just me? It is a little bit laggy. Yeah. Also, this game has some performance issues. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Actually, did the original Spyro composer do this game too? Yes. In yes. Spyro, you know, if you press the A button to jump, then press the A button again in midair, you can glide. Try using your glide to follow me. Ah, I feel like I'm playing Spyro 2 all over again. Yeah. And that's basically what this game's trying to do. Like, if it had only been given time, it would have been fine. Mm. Nope, Universal said we gotta get this out now. Oh, to go, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of ranting about Universal specifically, because <laughs> they basically just killed this franchise for a long time. Or doom doomed it more, more accurately. Doomed it sounds more accurate. <laughs> uh... Oh god. I used to, okay. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. I thought I soft locked. I found a dragonfly. Here, why don't you take it? Where were you holding that hunter? Hey, it's bubbles. 
in my ass. <laughs> Hunter, away! <laughs> Wait, where do you go? <laughs> yeah, he just the, <laughs> they don't. The yeah, he doesn't. They they don't know what to do with him, so they just uh, make him fly off into nowhere. Yeah, you I'm not, a challenge portal. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't... Did you just run Dragonfly, I think it was? Yeah, so I think it's only in the hub world, but um, there's like so those specific gates that activate a thing where you just do a thing, get the Dragonfly, yay. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I, I want, I'll give it this, at least this game's gonna be short. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Getting ahead. Getting ahead of ourselves, but this game it, it, it's, it's pretty much not finished. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> I don't even know. Like, good like, lord! I grew up playing this for a good while. Same. And even I could. It, it, somehow, nah. even as a kid, I could tell this wasn't really working. <laughs> mm. I do remember the first time I played this game. Uh, I, I guess we can talk about how we like, our experiences. Good. Oh. Experiences with this, because my experience is experience with Spyro, and I've talked about this in other playthroughs and stuff before. But um, my first exposure was the Spyro One demo and Crash Free, and I always like I played the crap out of that because I thought it was really fun. But I never actually got to play the original trilogy until like way later, and I'm I say like 2013 or something like that. Um, fake fan. <laughs> I mean, I, I grew, I grew with the original. Yeah, and I, my first f like full Spyro game was actually this. Um, uh, and you actual portal. I, I don't remember. It, I don't remember f feeling like it was the worst thing ever necessarily, but I could already tell the. Um, quality difference between this and the like demo I demo I played on Spyro 1 and I was just it's just like meh <laughs> I could already tell like there was something off about this that was great Spyro you could play the challenge or at least the dragonfly full name Vegeta it's about he from uh, Phineas and Ferb yeah Yours is better. But it, there's, um, I don't know if it, this is like the thing Jason was talking about earlier, but one way you can just skip to the final boss, I think if you like ground pound slot somewhere around this portal, you can just glitch through. Oh. <laughs> um, you saw that too, right? What's viral? Yeah, well, you, let me just change, like, to... yeah, there we go. Like, I swear, Spyro, like, he like he like good sideways on it. Yeah, no, I yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I want to see, I, w I want to see if a glitch I've always known works. It still works. Yeah. All right. Um, head to the um. Why do you gather all the gems here? I want you to head to the other gate. Like the other one of those gates, or like this one up here. Yeah. Hey, Sparks. Just what do we want to say now? Oh god. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're doing exactly what I think. To, yeah, you're doing. You're trying to do it. I've always judged for like a middle gap somewhere in, in the bars. I'm gonna ask you not try to exploit too many glitches for the sake of my motion sickness. I yeah, I've never actually done. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to. I've always been able to glitch for the aim for the ice gate. Yeah, I I'm not gonna. Like sequence break in this game, as funny as that would be, but um, yeah, that <laughs> just know that there's a million ways you can just break this game. Oh in my half. god, the frame rate! Yeah, I mean, it's gonna get worse, it's gonna get worse. Um, but yeah, uh, what did I say? Yeah, this wasn't my first Spyro game, but it was the first console Spyro game that I owned for any significant period of time. Do you play the GBA games? I had Season of Flame. Mm. I, I had, um, I actually had all three, uh, Spyro games on GBA, not counting, um, uh, Crash, Crossover. I've heard mixed things about Season of Ice, but I've heard Flame and 
what Attack of the Rhinox is pretty are pretty good. Yeah, I think I mentioned this once or twice before that I've gotten a few gains from like book fairs. Hmm. Um. Actually, uh, Attack of the Rhinox was one of them. Huh. What? Attack of the Rhinox. Okay. Um. So yeah, I had Season of Flame as my primary. Um. I guess exposure. God damn like it. I. Yeah, we, we saw another one of these, come on. But yeah, you can also just get camera. Camera? Yeah. I've always been able to get through this gate, like, jumping through, like, a bar thorn. On the... I, could, I just kept jumping at it. Here. Okay, I'm, just, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I, I get charged jumping through it, and it always worked. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a move on to our first normal level. Probably because his number is here, so we probably won't hear him further. Daygron. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the door. Miyagi. Remember, Spyro. Yeah. Find the dragonflies before Ripto. Burn. God, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good start. Oh, Christ. Oh, they. I, I swear they had the... Don't they have the animation of the gems going into the counter? I thought they did. It might have glitched. I can understand it taking a moment or two to load at the very least. Hmm. Because GameCube. They're not as long as... Uh, I think... I remember the... I... Oh, no. I swear... I remember like... Back in the, when I like played as a kid, like the load times were like 20 hours long. Uh, I don't know if it's because I played the PS2 version. Um, I don't actually remember if I played GameCube or PS2 uh, first, but... Right. Also by Zoe. Yeah. And just another one of these guys. I'll give it this, like I mentioned with, uh, with I think it was Snowflan, I think it was. Yeah. Um, at least, at least the music is still pretty decent. Yeah, I don't remember a lot of the music in this game, but it's... I remember... Inspiring the season area. I remember, like, the Rift Talk, like, platform maze. Hmm. Like, the song there is actually pretty, pretty good. Hmm. It definitely sounds like Spyro. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely, oh sti God. definitely still feels like it fits. Yeah, performing. Mm. God. Yeah. I can't wait for you to gl I can't wait for you to leave a bonus area and fire and not move. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself, but that's another one of my favorite glitches. <laughs> That's an old Spyro enemy sound. God. Uh, are you? Are you? Actually, we should mention this now. Are you doing 100%? Yeah, well, I kind of have to, because if you don't do 100%, you can't do the true final boss. <laughs> but, yeah, as, I'm, as you kind of see now, just playing this beginning part of the world, um, one of my main issues with this game is that it kind of just makes the, the levels a lot wider for the sake of it and just kind of places gems haphazardly and it it's just kind of annoying to uh, scout out the whole area because you're it's very easy to just miss random gems and when you do it's like good luck finding the things because at least in the uh, trilogy um, it was the levels were open enough, but they were, like, open in a way that was also more linear and contained, if you will. Um... Oh, I didn't mean to skip that, but... Uh, do you want... Uh, do what... Do what you can to return the dojo to a peaceful <laughs> space and bring all the dragon matters. Remember, Silas, the way of the dragon is to be a dragon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was saying, like, yeah, in the, in the trilogy, like, the levels didn't have 
obnoxiously open spaces. Well, some some select areas did in like Spyro One, for instance, but um, they weren't overly obnoxious about it, and they, that only happened like a few times, if I recall correctly. Um, I think. But the point is, even if you miss gems in those games, um, you have yeah. Sorry. You have you have like ways to get around it. Like I think at least in two and three in the originals, you could. Oh my god, dude! Bit of big enemy. Yeah. Cool. Uh. Uh. Things I I Might cannot. Give you, hey, guess what? Just for just for when you run into a base. <laughs> I you I know he's gonna say like, hey, you can't beat these with your flame breath. You have to charge them. I I can yeah I cannot keep a straight um train of thought with this game. Like every second I get interrupted. <laughs> I think he's trying to tell you. Uh, Hit like yeah. this, nothing's happening. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I always glitch these, cl these kites down. Yeah. Does the ball have to come back here when you have the ice breath? Yeah. But there's a much funnier way of do. There's a much funnier way of doing it, which is actually not doing what the game wants. <laughs> oh god. But I swear, you just got it. Just you just got to touch it somehow. Like I could just yeah, jump you... up there randomly and occasionally, it, sometimes it works. It just kind of you kind of just like jump in that general direction and it sometimes just works. Yeah. Yeah, save the baby dragonfly by roasting it alive. Yeah. Hey, oh, I just realized something. Listen to the bubble breath again. Hmm? That's- I've, I'm pretty sure that's the same sound effect of Crash spinning underwater and Crash free. Again. Sounds like it, actually. Uh, oh my god. I'm gonna have to check back on that, because if that's the case, that's hilarious. Um, you make sure you do it on a file that doesn't- Well, because like, like, just don't do it on a file that has a tornado. You know, it has a slightly different sound effect now. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, what was- Lightning <laughs> point, what the heck? Nice. Yeah, sometimes enemies just kind of forget how to live. This is a good video game. This is a good uh, polished video game. That game is giving me a headache, but I'm also laughing my ass off. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, point of, what I was try, trying to say is that, um, also track and saved. Cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry the dojo is in Jackie. For your visit. It's usually a hazy okay. tranquility. Yeah, I was gonna it's say. Here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. I do like the idea of a dragonfly dojo. I will say that much. Um, th there's some ideas in this game that are solid. If the, if if uh. If, like, the execution was better than, like, you know. Most of my research, by the way, just comes from watching the uh, What Happened video. Yeah, I don't have a lot of that stuff, like, on- in my memory, but I have seen a lot of videos like that. For this game. You kind of just try and get this. Do I have to need to talk to you first? I think you need to actually trigger the, the quest. Spyro, my kite got stuck up in the tree. Could you I know. Pull the kite out of the tree for me, Spyro? I can't reach it because there's nothing here to stand on. Just me. Yeah, yeah that's your hint. That's meant to be your hint. Um. Oh no, my balloon. It's like the same <laughs> energy, <laughs> really. It's like. Does that kite look like the dragon from um, uh, Fireworks Factory? Hmm. Yeah. Like, how does this work? Like. Well, I, you can probably just glide from a higher point from the from the dojo perch. 
I mean, because, like, it might be me, but Spyro's doesn't have as much dip. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have... Uh, Whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, I don't care. I don't know we're going to have a comeback anyway, since I, don't, I, I know you can't get all of them. Mm. <laughs> like, one of them is coded pro correctly. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that, then. <laughs> it happens to be this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you can get this one, at least, but... God knows. Who are the developers again? Um... It's like Equinox and someone else. Check yeah, six, I think. I think. I guess it's like I want to put. I want to put almost none of the blame on them for for how this came out. Uh well, I mean, those are. I. It's and obviously this is mainly Universal. It's mainly Universal's fault because, like, from what I understand, this is like Check Six and Equinox's first game, and then I don't f think they made anything after this. So that that's should... been only. Yeah. I, I just find it funny, like, uh, what was it, Ted Price or whatever from uh, Insomniac? It's just like, you know what sucks about Enter the Dragonfly is that people thought we made it. Uh, what? Yeah, I did. Hi. I used to think all the Spyro games were made by Naughty Dog because they were. Naughty Dog. Pissy. Wait, Naughty Dog? Yes, I used you to mean think all. Insomniac? I didn't know what an insomniac was back then. <laughs> oh, okay. And as a kid, I just probably just saw the Universal logo and assumed, okay, it's a guy who may crash. Oh. Oh, by the way, uh, this is where the demo was. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's a third hidden challenge in these, is there? I don't think so, no. Yeah, if there I'll is, I might... later. My Discord connection is having more lag than this game right now. Huh. That's... I don't believe you. <laughs> Have you heard my Discord connection before, Jason? It yeah. was... It, it was, um... Having issues yesterday, <laughs> to be fair. What was I gonna say? Um... So I had Season of Flame. Yeah, we're going back to this Oh! I think you passed one. You passed one. Give up. Are you sure? Okay, yes. Oh. They really should just have a restart option for this stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is how it did in the original. Yeah. They should have had a restart for that back then, too. Yeah. That's what happens when you have it. Even good games with stupid decisions can get some. All the stupid decisions copied by a developer on a time, on a time crunch. Yeah. Check six, the uh, speedways were bugs, not features. <laughs> what? Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, um, I had Season of Flame. Again, I'd seen, I told, I think I told Harry this years ago, which was probably when we played Year of the Dragon. That was in 2018, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Yeah, I had seen my brother probably like rent or borrow Year of the Dragon. That's how I knew about Bianca and everyone else. But yeah, I same, same. I, 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 part of the thing I remember is like Hunter having like this weird face at one point. <laughs> <laughs> when does Hunter not have a weird face? I need to do this next. I don't remember the order and should do this. Well, the lanterns are last. Are those guys even enemies? Are they like just the villains you're ramming through? <laughs> I mean, they're just obstacles. I mean, I mean this is, it's always happened. So these guys aren't even foes. They're just that they're just our target. Yeah. Yay. Eh. Um, eh. Good. Oh, oh good. gosh, what was I gonna say? So, go yeah, I only had. Oh, I need to. Oh, what the hell? Just go and He's go so forward. He's so forward in flames. I also think he wants you to do rings and lanterns. Other thing. Maybe I can still make it. I mean, you have, you have plenty of time. Season of flame. There we go. I played oh, season I of flame. Little thing where the music just resets and loops. Hmm. <laughs> what? Uh. I'm not gonna uh. lie. The 
chir chirping birds are kind of peaceful. Yeah. That's I thought it was a bird that's not house. <laughs> oh god. What, what the hell? Restart. I'm so close. Wow. So close? Yet so far. What the heck? Oh my god. Yeah, I think I saw <laughs> Okay, do the ra after you do the rings, do try doing try doing the lantern. They'll probably they'll, they'll probably keep that path. Oh yeah, so probably. What did I say? So yes, I had season of flame as my main comparison, so that probably allowed me to judge this game on a much easier curve because it was just season of flame, but on a console, you could swim <laughs> and not drown. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. It's like you played the original Spyro, where he, water just like, uh. Uh, yeah. It's like some some water hurts you, and then some just insta kills. I think. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah, I can't remember if there's any insta kill like water in Spyro. Just drop it into charge. Yeah. I think uh, Ooh, it's so. Nice. Yeah, I think it's only like. Oh damn it. I think it's only insta kill. Just, just keep he wants. He wants. Yes. He, 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 he can't be ours. Like it could have just circled back. It wouldn't have. Well, I mean. That would have taken. Up. That would. That would have taken longer. Depends on if you're going one way and you're going the other, then you might meet at the same place. Eventually. All right, and jump up. Well, let. <laughs> These rhinos don't even do <sighs> anything. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Um. So yeah, I. That's my experience with the Dragonfly. It was my quite literally baby's first Spyro. So. Hmm. At least I didn't mess up the swimming in this game. <laughs> yeah, I guess. G and now the race. So this is more or less how it is in Sparrow 3, but just less visually appealing. Because <laughs> the... I mean, I think you're faster than you are in Spyro 3. Um... Well, I mean, when you go yeah. for the turbos at any rate. I don't... I'm not sure. There's more startup. Like, in Spyro 3, um, you... As soon as you go into the boost, it just immediately goes into max speed. Um... Yeah. I, re I recall, like, the positioning in this being kind of whack um because like half the time i swear i like pass through a bunch of uh opponents or whatever and it, i still don't get like the next position i forget do you have to fly through all the rings yes i'm pretty sure anyway i thought that point wait well so i think i think if you just if you miss a ring it just yeah, it just doesn't. You don't qualify or something. Ah, uh, so we're doing the, the crash tree level with the planes then. Oh, <laughs> I guess. I think I act. I think I had tr more trouble with that in the remake than I did in the original version. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. I think just because the biplane just controls better in the remake. Wait, the plane controls better in the remake, and you had more trouble with it in the remake then. Wait, what? I said that I thought I had more trouble with the ring with Rings of Power. Oh no! Three and same trilogy version. Oh no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think it is harder in the remake, but um, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but because I I'm pretty sure they just made the races more. Uh, just faster or something i it, yeah i just exit 
Um, yeah. No, I, I do I do think they made Rings of Power harder. Um, but I do think the controls are better, though. I was gone when you entered this level, but I actually do like Dragonfly Dojo uh, aesthetically. Yeah, we were mentioning something about that, E2. I, I do remember oh, these... Oh, I hope we get the glitch. Please tell me we get the glitch. <laughs> this is giving me flashbacks. Yeah, because I remember forward, just... Just hold forward, just hold forward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it just hold forward? Let's see. Uh, Come on. Th yeah, th these are the loading times I remember. Ah, uh, uh, not yet. Yeah, sometimes if you... What, <laughs> sometimes when you leave a portal... Um, Spyro will just kind of forget that he has, uh, legs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just slide. In fact, Scrappy, you missed it, but that big guy we just roasted, um, uh, when we got, when we were the pro joke, he froze in place. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do like the Dragonfly Dojo as, like, a idea, um, and it doesn't look, I mean, the game doesn't look too bad. I will, s I do kind of agree that, um, Nice. That guy just didn't die somehow. Uh, yeah, that's what I saw too. Uh, yeah, no, I, I do kind of agree that this game has a better general art style than Rafa Cortex, mainly because it still feels a, a, like generally about how as part, like the trilogy looked. Um, I recall, you call us uh, cr watching Crash 4. He looked kind of, in the, the art style kind of, it looked kind of flat. <laughs> Yeah, and don't get me wrong, this game has, like, the, the, like, visually has a lot of problems. I, I think, in terms of just visual quality, I think Rafa Cortex is better in that sense. But in terms of art style, I like Enter the Dragonfly more, because it's more, it's more in line with how I expect the Sparrow games to look. Whereas Rafa Cortex is just a really washed out version of, of Crash, and it doesn't look anywhere near as appealing as, like, the trilogy does, so... The Spyro games yeah. on PS1 already had, had kind of a re restrained pastel color, so this mm. kind of feels on, yes. feels on brand. Yeah. Guide you. Yeah, my issue... Huh? I'm pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure they read his line. Oh boy, look who it is! <laughs> Only appearance! Nice yeah, loop, by the way. What a surprise. What were you saying, Harry? In danger or uh, one second. Like that? What happened you say no? Have to pay me gems to cross this large that is a good loop. <laughs> Oops. I didn't- oh. I thought- I thought it was done. No. It's quite a long way down, Spyro. I just wonder how long an elder dragon can sit in a frozen solid ice block. The suspense is terrible. I hope it will last. <laughs> what an asshole. That's pretty good. Okay, let's not kill ourselves. Uh, Did you say anymore? Oh. Okay, no. Okay. Is there an animation of it? Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. All right, took up haiku. That is some nice, uh... Uh, continuity, I guess. Do you have any more dialogue? Or is that it? Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music. Oh, that's no, it. I just, yeah. And that's all you're gonna see on money bags. I'm okay with that. The <laughs> literal only paywall in the game. <laughs> it's like the game is just like, hey, did you know that this had to get rushed out? Cause um. It kind of screams that like every few seconds. Uh, so there's something about um, crash that was it, like color color palette, I guess, between this and Wrath of Cortex you were talking about. Um. Well, first of all, we have more di we have more dialogue because I can't. <laughs> I have like no time to think with this game. I guess. Perhaps you should contemplate a career. As a dragon sensei, it could be your density. I mean, what? your destiny. Now, ha, I will funny. open that gate. That, if 
appears is my density. I need <laughs> destiny, Spyro. Quality dialogue. Yeah, you yeah, you're definitely a MacGuffin. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yeah, what I was saying, um, I will say that, um, the issue this game has in terms of, like, visuals is, it, visuals is more the, um, the textures themselves are very flat, like, just how everything looks is, uh, it doesn't look the greatest, but again, I I like this. I like that the act, the general art direction is more similar to the trilogy than Rafa Cortex was. Truth be told, this might be the only 3D Spyro game after the originals that kind of look like the originals. Yeah, because like after this is like Hero's Tale, which I barely know anything about, and then yeah, I mean, it yeah. looks like I mean it looks like the old. Spyro looks like himself, but there are definitely more art style shit. It's like Spyro! it's a twin. <laughs> it's the twin sanity to. It, it, it really is a twin sanity to Ender the Dragonfly's Wrath of Cortex. Basically, um, I do. I don't know if I'm misremembering, but I swear Spyro looks a bit more pudgy in Hero's Tale, though. Uh, I, I guess he's a bit thicker, maybe because he's older. I don't know. I do know that he has a different voice. Hey, jump in the whirly gig and see if you can just swerve around into the kite. Oh. Yeah, everyone but Sparks and Nasty Nork in that game got a new VA. Nope. Okay. You just have, like, super slow speed, I guess. What was I going to say? So, like, yeah, I think Graphic Cortex might be, um, I guess it might be, I guess, more graphically impressive to a point, but... Thing. Most of the characters, most of the returning characters, generally look on model, except when they talk. Mm. Like it's, the art direction, I guess, is more consistent in this game than it is in Wrath of Cortex. Yeah. I think the problem is, yeah, I think my main issue with Wrath of Cortex visually is just that it looks really, like, washed out. Like you compare a level in that game to like one, two, or three, like even Crash One. Um, and it's like, the difference is night and day, like, the trilogy is just really vibrant, and then- my dude. <laughs> hey, get Cinder! That's not my hey, Cinder. Hey, you know later game! <laughs> oh god. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, um, PS1 games just seem to have a very particular kind of saturation that's like difficult to maintain in the later generations. Mm. Some of it. Oh uh, yeah, the of... Dragonfly Dojo, wherever tanks are. Uh. Probably a good deal. That was just down to the technological limitations of the time. Like, like what can I say? Like the general brightness of Final Fantasy VII. Probably not how the game was meant to look in the eyes of Nomura. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> yeah. You groaned. You don't like the tank. I take it. No, I hate it. I, this was like, um, I remember just being, getting stuck on this stupid thing for ages as a, as a kid, because I just, I couldn't beat this thing, because I, because it just controls like garbage. I like how we're in like this dojo of like peace and serenity, and we gotta go to war now. Yeah. Well, what kind of dragon sent me to tank training arena? Yeah, right? I like how his name is Patton. How do I- Oh, I'm very good at control. I can- Spyro, you magnificent bastard! I read your book! Yeah. Yeah, right. this, uh... Oh, God. I've never seen Patton. <laughs> oh, God. This control's even worse than I remember. <laughs> okay, so B and A... Second tank control to the whole new level. Yeah. Okay, X is... Yeah, no, I... This is... For me, this is where the game just starts to just get... Horrible, cause like, um, like I, I, there was there were issues before, but this is the point for me where I just start to just hate my life because this thing controls like ass and um, having to if you die in this and have to restart, it just it's so deflating. This is it's not fun. At least this part's optional. We're not gonna be selective other parts of the game. 
This is the only time we have to do the tank, isn't it? No, it's not. You, you, you have to do it at least one more time. I know that much. What we gotta do is level twice. This level twice? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about this. Of all the gimmicks they decide to bring back for more than one level. Yeah. The dragonfly. Well, listen. That, clearly, all the dragonflies oh, need to learn how to fly their tank. I thought there was a. I think there's another tank over here. No. What was I gonna say? Um. Just run them over. Yeah. Like this is. This is, this is, oh. this is a, gee, that's so mean. But yeah. Just the imagery of spider on a tank is kind of funny. Yeah. Like this should have been Stark, one of the more. Yeah, this game is. <laughs> is uh, very, very much like. Uh, very much like Rafa Cortex, where. Um, how, oh, like. God. Oh, God. How that game was. That, that sound effect get super loud for no reason. Yeah, it can be like that. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, how Rafa Cortex was re trying really hard to be another Crash 3. Uh, this is kind of the same thing, but with Spyro 3 instead, because. Um, oh, oh, my God. Um. You have all these um, different portals that have like different gameplay styles and stuff, and it's basically since oh my god, since we don't have other playable characters anymore, we just just kind of have Spyro in these um, tanks or other or like I think you go into an airplane later and just stuff like that. And I mean, I wouldn't entirely be against stuff like this if it didn't control like complete ass. Like, I mean, the, the, the part of me, like, I'm trying to think, I can't remember how many games in Spyro 2 functioned. Like, I mean, there I, was, I feel up before we go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, there's some, there were some, like, areas in Spyro 3, at least, that I do remember having Spyro do, like, some unique thing, or like, uh, like, like skateboard. Yeah, there was a skateboard or like those tunnels you had to um, charge through and stuff like that, but... Yeah. Usually the more outlandish, outlandish stuff was saved for the other playable characters, from what I remember. To a point, like, um... Okay. There it is, there's the last tank. Die! Die! Shoot, die. shoot, shoot! Okay. Are we done? I hope. Well done, Privates. You're a clever dragon, ain't you? Smart enough to get the gates open and skillful <laughs> enough to survive the tanks. As a reward, I'll let you have the dojo mascot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's Cub. <laughs> I know that these tanks are small enough to get a small like child dragon like Spyro. Yeah. Would you no. Like Nah. Well, that's too bad. But I'll have this tank ready for you when you change your mind. I won't change my mind, screw you. <laughs> Dang, just comes back later with the ever tank. Hey, there you are! <laughs> oh, good. But yeah, I was, I was gonna say this, um, the fir like, the first time we saw this loading screen, but, um, just seeing the sparkles go around Spyro, um, that <laughs> gives me flashbacks to when I played this game as a kid, because these loading, because of the how long these loading times are, I just kind of followed the sparkles and kind of got hypnotized, <laughs> more or less. Because <laughs> it goes <laughs> goes on for like, I swear to God, I remember it going on for like three minutes. That's I what it, that's what it felt like anyway. What are you singing, Spyro? I didn't even know he like had dialogue like in. I'm not sure I call it the idle motion, but I mean, like. I like that. That, that that's nice. They tried, man. They tried with this game. They did what they could, cause um, we kind of, kind of like alluding yeah. to it earlier with um, was it Equinox and Check Six? Um, <laughs> I keep on wanting to call them Channel Six. I don't know why. Um, cause, cause you really want to play tur uh, Turtles in Time. I guess. Um. But yeah, they they were basically screwed over. <laughs> like at least with like with um how was it Traveler's Tales, um they're at least a um 
like a veteran in the game industry, so uh, they were also dealt with like a bad hand as well, but at least they had experience. So, so you know, Rafa Cortex again could have been way worse than it actually was. But these two guys, like Check Six and Equinox, from my understand, they were fresh blood. They none of like fresh out of college for some of the devs. Yeah, like these guys never made a game before, so they immediately like start making a new Spyro game, and they have to live up to the quality of the trilogy. Oh great. Um, oh, by the way, Bubble Bro is absolutely useless otherwise. Yeah, that's, they're only used for catching the dragonflies, but... I literally can't do anything else. <laughs> yeah, ouch. But yeah. Um... What was I saying? Uh... Equinox and... Yeah, they, they were... Basically dealt, like, the worst hand ever, because... Um, yeah, they have to live up to the trilogy, and this is the first game that, like, any of these guys made, and... It's like, God, and they're like crunched for time, and Universal just ref f refuses to agree with a direction. So, like, yeah. From what from what I understand, half the time they didn't even know what they were like supposed to make, and you can easily make slide. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, what the hell, man. Universal sucks. <laughs> oh, I think you gotta talk to him. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just not, not gonna bother with these kites then. You're not supposed to do them <laughs> right now anyway. I think this is like the only time you have to backtrack. Rusty's the first one. This is not Rusty. No. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay. I, I remember that those. now. Talk to him. Talk those. to him. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's been clipping through my body! <laughs> Peanut butter without jelly! No, that's not quite right. <laughs> At least the baby dragons are still cute. Yeah. Well, Camera? One... Camera? Yeah. Like the one post yeah. PS1 Spyro game that remembered that. Yeah, they. <laughs> I don't know what happened in the uh, Reignited, but like. Oof. I really hope we didn't miss any gems. I really hope not. I'm head canoning that Rusty Rust is Spyro's little brother. Yeah. Rusty is yeah, Rust the very first uh, dragon we ran into when we were here. Also, um, make sure you make note of what exit portals look like. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they look more like this and the uh, bonus ones are like sparkles. Um, it's easy to forget that because I remember a lot of times where I just go into an exit portal thinking it would be a mini game. Because, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that means we got all the gems, right? Yay! Yep. Cool. 700 gems in the first level. That's pretty high, actually. So... Okay. How did they get 9... Okay, yep. 90. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, there's 10 dragonflies. On, in theory, there's like 10 per level. Yeah. That's actually kind of a lot, like... Yeah. It's like usually. Yeah. Like usually six I'm gonna dragon assume, eggs. I'm gonna assume they were gonna have less and, and put and put more and put the errors in like upper levels, so they just but they just moved them he to like other ones to make it more even. Yeah. The, um. Yeah. Because I think, I think the original intent was to have like what like 120 or something. Uh. So they would have had like, I don't know. I think I don't know. Who knows how many actual levels they wanted. Yeah, but. Um, the, I think the, actually. yeah, cause I think the total was like 90 in this game. So like if the, if the final count was going to be like 150, I, I don't even know, but, um, that does tell me that there's, there was, that does, that does kind of tell me that originally there was going to be a lot less in, a, in each level, but because there's only like what nine levels in the game or something like that they kind of just had to uh have a bunch of um uh dragonflies in each level 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another level behind us. Oh, right. Is that next? Yeah, it's there where the sleepy guy is. I don't remember. Oh, the... snuggle bear. Yeah. Ah. No. Oh. So. I don't remember the order of levels in this. I thought it was, um, the farm place <laughs> next. Well, you, you, yeah, we can get up. We should be able to get in there, right? Um, if, if we have the right amount of, uh, dragonflies. Spyro, I was dreaming of a genie that turned into a nightmare when these horrible riptox kicked me out of my bed and threw me down this swirly thingy. Maybe the magic of dragonflies a will help activate it. <laughs> Do we have enough? Nope. Oh. Okay, we need to, yeah, we need to go somewhere else.